Now what we have in this section is, it's pieces from Jesus' most famous sermon in this time on earth, the Sermon on the Mount. And, and there's a ton we could talk about. I mean, it's a long chapter, right? I mean, and each line in it is really kind of packed and loaded. It's got all kind, of, just weighty and filled with, with meaning. I mean, we could probably just take the rest of the year and, and work through the things that he says in the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, I mean, it really is a literary and an ethical masterpiece that Jesus gives here. But I, what I want to try to do is this kind of this morning today to stay a little bit more high level and not really get down lost in, in the weeds. Uh, the reason for that is because I think what the Sermon on the Mount does, what Jesus does here and what it's intended to do, it, is to crush us. I, I think what Jesus does here and what he says really sets up an impossible standard. I mean, what Jesus says here, it's, it's impossible. It sets up an impossible standard. I mean, let's go down the line. Uh, blessed are the poor. Uh, who wants to be poor? Not me. Uh, blessed are the hungry. Like, who wants to be hungry? Uh, blessed are those who weep. Who wants to be sad? Uh, blessed are you when, when you're hated. Like, I don't want people to hate me. Uh, woe to the rich. Wait, that can be bad or dangerous. I thought that was the goal. You know, you need to make money, get more money and, and things in life. I mean, woe to the full. Like, I like having things. <laughs> woe to those who laugh. No, I don't, I don't want bad things to happen. I like it when things are good. I like having a good time. Like, woe to you when people speak well of you. Well, shoot, I like it when people say good things about me. I mean, blessed are those when, they, when people curse you. Like, no way, forget you. You didn't talk bad about me, I'm going to talk bad about you. I, pray for those who abuse you. Like, no, like, you abuse me, the only thing I'm going to pray is that God smites you. Uh, <laughs> offer your cheek to someone who hits you. Now, you hit me, like, I'm going to hit you back. I, like, trained in boxing for, like, four and a half years, and I can do it good. I, like, give to the person who steals from you. Like, I have weapons in my house to protect my stuff from people coming that want to do that. I, I mean, give to the person who asks for money. I get so annoyed. I'm like, my, my automatic thought is, get a job. Uh, I, do good expecting nothing in return? No ROI? Um, no, like, there's no reason. Unless it's somehow going to benefit me somehow. I mean, but Jesus is doing, he's setting up an impossible standard. I mean, it's just kind of like basic, simple things in life that we, we all fail at. We can't even do because really what it does is it shows how, how selfish and self-centered our, our hearts are. Jesus' goal in this is not for us to read this and be like, okay, got it? And I'm going to go do that. That's, that's not the purpose here. His goal really, I think, is for us to be cut to the heart and to see how we can't do this. Over in the book of Matthew, uh, Matthew res records the, the disciples' response on one occasion to, to Jesus' ethic here. Um, they say, well, Lord, who can be saved then? This is, this is impossible what you're, you're asking us to do. I think that's exactly where he wants us. That's where this sermon goes. The, the, the climax of the sermon is in verse 35 and 36. makes it clear. Jesus' answer for all this list of things he pointed out is this, the Most High is, is kind to the ungrateful and the evil, so be merciful even as your Father is merciful. <laughs> it, the whole point is under Jesus' law of love here, we all fail, and because of that, we need mercy. We need the mercy of God the Father. Mercy is not getting what you deserve. That's what mercy is. Once we get that, and, and once we believe that, we we see ourselves as people in, in mercy, uh, needing mercy begins to change us and make us merciful, really turns us inside out. That's, that's what we need. 